。中国国际法专家表示，日本向海派方放射性水违反国际法，需要承担应有嘅国际义务。日本星期四開始重失事嘅福島核電站，向太平洋釋放超過一百萬噸嘅放射性水，此舉引起咗國際社會嘅批評，同埋人們對環境影響嘅擔憂。中國社會科學院國際法研究所副研究員羅煥新表示，日本嘅錯誤行為違反咗聯合國公約。As long as the official act of a state violates an international obligation. It constitutes an international wrongful act and needs to bear international responsibility. Since international law includes treaty law and customary law, I want to say that Japan's action violated the treaty law obviously. Japan is a party of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, which stipulates in its Chapter 12, using 45 articles, stating that all state parties. Have the obligations to preserve and protect the marine environment. Therefore, state parties, including China, Russia, and other countries, have treaty rights to claim that Japan has breached its international obligations under the UNCLOS Convention, and all state parties are entitled to ask Japan to hold its plan and discharge operation. 對於國際原子能機構嘅評估報告，佢表示該報告並唔意味住允許日本政府採取挑釁行動。Let's take a look at the original text of this report. I've picked out some wording which stated that the views expressed in the report do not necessarily reflect those of IAEA member states, and neither the IAEA law its member states. Assume any responsibility for consequences which may arise from the use of the report. Hence, it should be noted that the IAEA report was carried out on its basis, Japan's unilateral request, and it has not gone through any international organizational procedures like discussion or vote by the IAEA conference of、uh, state parties. So the report does not give any legitimacy for Japan. To release its contaminated water into the sea. In this regard, the IAEA also mentioned in its report that the decision to discharge was made by the Japanese government itself and has nothing to do with the IAEA.